Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the new uh, Flycaller Raptor S Tower. And this is a newer version of the Raptor Tower that uh, was out maybe about a month ago. This is a newer one. And the major difference between the old one and the new one is that uh, the ESCs are now BLLE S, uh, whereas before they were the um, F390 ESCs. So they improved the ESCs. I think the flight board and uh, OSD is the same as before, although I've never had that version, so I couldn't tell you exactly. Uh, the version I've got here is the um, 30 amp ESC version, and it's got a current sensor there. Uh, it bursts up to 40 amps. The uh, Basically, you got a 4-in-1 uh, ESC board plus your flight controller and PDB uh, and OSD in two little uh, boards here that connect very neatly with these pin connectors here on the side uh, instead of a bunch of cables and wires so the build will be actually pretty clean if you put this into your build. Uh, it does come with a bunch of um, micro connector cables here that go into um, the uh, connectors on the side of the flight controller and here's a look at some of those here. Um, the ones that I think are important are going to be, I think the one here on this one here is going to be for your video transmitter and then this one here is going to be for your camera that outputs 12 volts and then this is a video in here from your, or I'm sorry, video out to your video transmitter. Uh, I think this one here is for your serial receiver and then this one here is for your PWM receiver if you happen to have one of those. And then you got, um, let's see what else you got, you got a little program report here for your OSD if you want to uh, program your OSD. It does come with the older MW OSD version 1.5 so it's kind of old school. It, it doesn't have the newer Beal, um, the Betaflight OSD that uh, is coming on a lot of recent boards and uh, the flight controller in here is actually the SP Racing F3 target um, so it's kind of a uh, has like a the older 6050 gyro and not the 6000 gyro um, but still a good flight controller. It's an F3 uh, processor, of course, um, and uh, has all these components built in, making for a really clean build. So they do include a XD60 connector here, if you want to use that, or you could um, connect uh, your own connector if you want. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the two boards apart here. They're just connected through these pin connectors here on the side. You want to be careful you don't bend these pins. So here's a closer look at the underside of the board. You got a couple of voltage regulators, those gray square chips here. And uh, that chip there on the left is the black box. I think you got eight megabytes of black box data. And I think this one here is the CP210 chip for your USB port. So there's not a whole lot here on the underside of the uh, flight controller. So over here on the 4 one ESCs, you got your motor wire connections here for your motors. Very easy to solder, it shouldn't be a pretty clean build. And taking a closer look at the top of the flight controller, you got your F3 chip here, you got your 6050 gyro there, and you got a, this is a max uh, chip here for your OSD, and then this is a Atmel chip also for programming your OSD here. Take another closer look at the connections here on the side, it says, it says video and there's a 4 pin connector here, ground 12 volts um, negative and signal for your uh, video transmitter. And then this is the underside of the board. Uh, you got your camera connection here, signal, uh, 12 volts and negative. And this one over here is for your receiver, it says SBUS. It's also one of the UART, it's the UART 3. And then over here is for your LEDs, if you want to uh, connect up some LEDs. So I was able to uh, go ahead and, and flash this to the latest Betaflight 3.1.7. It did come with Betaflight 3.1 out of the box. Um, in order to connect to the OSD, you have to go into the CLI and use serial pass-through and then use MW OSD Configurator 1.5 to uh, change your settings if you want to change your settings on the OSD. So I'm going to probably put this little stack here in uh, the XB X2 right here. I should make for a really clean build. Put that right in there. Connect up your motors and uh, all, you will, all you will need is, is your video transmitter and your camera. So i uh, look out for that video when I do the build for this. This is going to go into this build. So that'll do it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this 4-in-1 uh, ESC flight controller combo. 
I like these little stacks are coming on now. I'm kind of hoping that in the future that they, that they actually upgrade the flight controller for, instead of using the F3 racing board using like a Omnibus F3 style or Omnibus F4. We have the beta flight uh, OSD instead. I think I would prefer that and also improvement in the gyro to the MPU 6000 instead of 6050. Other than that, I think this is a pretty neat product. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.